Hi guys and welcome. So today I am coming on with a little project share or craft with me, I guess. Um, more than project share, but it's a little bit of both. So I am a guest designer for Dress It Up um, button shop on Instagram. And they have the cutest little buttons, you guys. And so you can use these in your sequin mixes. Um, I have a TikTok that I shared where I created this sequin mix right here. And look at how cute the little micro heart buttons look in there. And it's just, you know, a little added interest to your projects. So there's different ways you can use these um, buttons. Of course, you can use them the traditional way as buttons, um, but for crafting and for Happy Mail, which is what I am into, um, they are so cute to use as embellishments. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I am creating this little um, memory decks card right here. I love how these little buttons look at the top of these little, um, carousel carts and I think it's just cute and just a little added um, detail to this project. This is using the Maggie Holmes round trip paper collection and then I'm also using um, this die right here from Scrap Diva Designs and so let me show you what comes in the die set. So you get these two pieces right here. Um, this of course is the carousel piece. This goes on top of that. These little holes right here are for your little carousel cars. Um, and it's a memory deck so you get the base piece and this would go right on top of that just like so and then you get all these pieces right here that are the little um, carousel cabs or um, carts or whatever you want to call it seats <laughs> Um, so for this, I didn't use this piece right here. I just kept it really simple because I have to make four. I'm in a group swap. And so I just wanted to keep it really simple because I wanted to do stitching on it. Um, I saw Adriana Albadez make one of these a few months ago, I think like for Valentine's or something like that. Um, and she did stitching on it and it just is so beautiful. And I mean, everything Adriana does is gorgeous. Um, so let's just start there. But anyway, so I wanted to do stitching on mine as well, but I did want to keep it very simple. So I only used these two pieces, um, for the, for the base. I didn't use this. And then of course I cut out just a few of these little carts or cars, carousel cars. I didn't, um, you know, I only used two, four, five. Five. So I didn't put one at every place that, you know, you should. Um, and so, yeah, that's the fun thing about, um, you know, checking out how everybody uses these dies. What everybody, you know, even though we're making the same thing or using the same project, um, our, our, our end result is always so, so different because we have our own styles and our own takes. So that's always fun to see. Um, also, if you follow the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs, um, you can see some of the her design team members, how they've used it, um, how they've used this die. It's, it's really, really cute. I was fortunate enough to be a guest designer for her. Um, and so... I've had a chance to play with some of her dies, but today we are featuring these little micro heart buttons that are so adorable, you guys. Um, look at how cute these are. Look at how little and tiny they are. Let me get this little jump ring out of here. I have glitter in here also. <laughs> Um, but look at how adorable th they are. So in this particular pack right here, they do have some that are just a rose color, but this one has multi um, colors of pink. So, you know, you get different shades, this lighter one, this medium one, and then the darker one. And so those are the ones that I'm using for this because I thought it was cute to use the um, darker ones on these three and then the lighter ones on the two on the side. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's put this together. 
So first off, I cut this out, this piece right here, which is that carousel piece that I showed you. I cut it out four times. I cut it out of the paper that I'm gonna use, which is this Maggie Holmes Round Trip. I love this yellow with pink, it's so cute. I cut out two chipboard pieces because the chipboard I have is very thin. I am literally out of chipboard. This was like my last little piece of paper and piece of chipboard and it is just so thin. Um, and since this is a really thin die, I went ahead and cut two. And then I also cut it out of this um, heavy duty cardstock right here. This is really, really thick um, cardstock. So I'm also gonna sandwich that on there. Um, and you know what? I actually cut it out five times because then I'm going to cover this all up with this pink in the back, which is what I did here. I covered it all up with pink and I think that just gives it a finished look. Um, so those are gonna go all on here. I did do some stitching on this and I wanted to show you that it's actually very easy to do stitching on this um because i just for this detail in the center for the ferris wheel i just went from here straight across and then from here straight across and so on and so forth i just did the whole line straight across so that was fairly easy um the tricky part is these rounded edges at the top but just go slow there and yeah, it wasn't too hard to do stitching on that. Okay, so, and a little, another little tip is that when I did the stitching on my paper, I made sure to use some chipboard just to, so that the paper wouldn't tear and to make it a little more sturdy. So I'm just gonna add some liquid glue to this. I love Barely Art glue. A fun fact is that I was a team captain for Barely Art. Um, for about a year um, well actually I wasn't a team captain for a year I was on their team for about a year and I was a team captain for two terms um, and before I even got on their design team I used barely art glue for a year so I've been using this for about two years now um, and you guys I love it it is so good um i love the fine tip of the glue i think that's what sold me on it it's easy to control um i did not reapply it for this term um because um when you are on the design team for barely art every term there is a community project that you have to do and you know it's really one of the great things about barely art is that they like to give back to their community and so, um, but it did become tiresome for me. I was a little burnt out with this last one. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna reapply. I am going to recharge and then we'll see where we go from here. Um, but still lifelong, barely art girl for sure. And the people are just so kind, you guys the um the people that work that i worked with um from barely art were just so kind and just really generous and um so it's a really great company it's a really small business and it's just fun um and so anyway i'm just adding some glue especially to the parts that have thread because i don't want my thread to unravel sometimes it gets loose if you don't um lock up those stitches and so I'm just gonna put glue all the way around this and we are going to put our second piece of chipboard and like I said these um these little ferris wheel lines or cutouts right here are so thin that you know you want to make it sturdy um if you don't add enough chipboard or layers to it, it's not gonna be sturdy. It's gonna feel very flimsy. So it's a good idea to stack it up. Stack it up good. And oh, it's already starting to look really cute. 
Then I'm just gonna go over it with my little score tool. I use this tool so much, you guys. Probably the tool I use the most in my craft room when I'm crafting. Um, so that is how I put that together. <laughs> And then I'm still gonna go and attach these two pieces, um, but I will leave that out just for the sake of this video. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all the layers and it feels really nice and thick and sturdy. So that's that. And then for this bottom piece right here, I cut out um, the paper. I did some stitching also all the way around it of course I did that little I added the chipboard because I was gonna do stitching and it just gives you know your paper some added support um, and so that's two layers right here then I have this thick um, cardstock I'm gonna sandwich that in between and then also add this piece right here um, so let me do that really quickly Okay, so now we have all of the layers adhered for these two pieces and they feel so good. And then once you put them together, they're gonna feel even better and just so sturdy. So let's put these little car pieces together, these little carousel cars. So there's two different ones. There's this one right here. And then this one right here that doesn't have that same little piece at the top so I'm going to add this to it. So I cut out three that have that little hole at the top and then two that do not. I forgot to bring my, um, my mat out to protect my surface. So I'm gonna grab this piece right here and just adhere that to the top, just like so. Straightening that out as best as possible. And I'll do the same for the other one. So see, you can see the two different kind that come, or maybe you can't, because it's zoomed in so much, let me. <clears throat> I mean zoomed out so much <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying let me see is that too much okay well anyway that's the two different ones and then I'll add some glue to this one as well just a thin layer isn't that awesome how that little tip right there works so cool and we'll add this piece to it. And then you have time to wiggle it around and get it straight. So that's what that looks like. So now I'm gonna add my little um, micro hearts from Dress It Up Button Shop. And all I'm gonna do is add some glue to this area right here. Just a little bit of glue. And add one of my buttons to that. These are just so stinking cute. Look at how cute that, oops. Those glue strings are horrible. <laughs> um, but look at how cute that looks. I just love it and I thought these were perfect for this um, particular project because this carousel is a heart themed carousel. So I just thought they were so perfect for this project. Um, I have glue strings all over this. I'm gonna try to get that out. Let me zoom out just a little bit. There you go. 
Okay, so that's one. And then on these different ones right here, I'm gonna add a heart to that tip right there also. So I'm just gonna hold this like this, add a little bit of hot glue, not too much. We'll add some more hot glue in the end. And so on these, I'm gonna add the darker pink. And just making sure to center that right on there, just like that. Aren't they so cute? They're so adorable. Okay. So I'll get, go ahead and do that to the other three and I will be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added these little buttons to each one of these. These are the different ones that I have and I just think they're so adorable. So this is what they're gonna look like at the end. Isn't that so cute? They are so cute. Okay, so we're gonna put this all together before I glue that on here, I guess. Or no, let me add this piece to here. So right around this circle right here, I'm gonna add hot glue just to make this process faster than it is with the liquid glue. We'll just line that up just like so and apply some pressure and that is it. Is it crooked? Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, let me do that again. <laughs> let me do that again. The good thing about this part is that it's not too visible. So I'll just add some glue to that. Put this down like this. Make sure to straighten this out as best as I can. And that is it. Okay. And just apply some pressure to that. And so we've got it on. Isn't this so beautiful? I love this um, die so much. Let me move this this way. There you go. Because <laughs> I am not showing what I'm doing. Okay, and then these little guys are going to be on here so I just went with these Ferris since I didn't use that uh, top layer piece that I should have used um, I just put placed these with the lines if that makes sense because see this this other piece right here see it how it has the little notches that's where a, a little car one of these should go and so I'm just using five, so I just skipped little lines. Um, these two are gonna go on the side right here. I'm just gonna put this straight down, just like that. We'll do this one right here next. And again, it'll be one of these little pink ones, the lighter pink ones. And then I did, I skipped um, a line and I went on to this right here. And we'll just add that guy on right there. And we'll add our last one right here. And then this is just such a pretty die and so much goes into the actual base that you don't have to embellish it too much. I mean, that would look cute just like that. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and add a little embellishment here in the center. I'm just gonna use some chipboard. When I picked up this collection, um, the ephemera pieces were out of stock. So I did not get to pick up any ephemera pieces. And so I, um, let me zoom out a little bit. I um, 
picked up extra chipboard. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did on this one, which was use this piece right here. And I'm gonna take off this white the sticky part of my chipboard. I didn't do any stitching on the chipboard just because there's so much stitching on the carousel on the base piece and I just, like I mentioned, I have to make four of these. So, um, I didn't wanna to have to do stitching, you know, so much stitching. Okay, so I took off the sticky portion of this and I'm going to add some foam to the back of it. I see this is gonna go like that, so right across. And I'll take that off, add some glue to the center and stick that on just like so. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab this Let's Go. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Tear off that little piece. I can't believe this is already at 20 <laughs> minutes, you guys. This is crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't take this off. I'm just... Um, tear that off. What did I add to this? I added a little jemmy and a little star. So, I didn't bring the jemmies with me, so I'll add that later. And for now, we'll just add the little star right here. The good thing about doing group swaps is that once you make one, then it's easy because it's the rest, the, the, most of the guesswork is already, um, done. You just have to assemble it. And then I just added that to here. And then on the plane, take that out, remove this, and we are almost done, you guys. If you are here to the end, you are like the real MVP. This has been so fun though. Um, just to share with you what my little process is. So for the plane, I actually used these foam squares. I didn't use the foam tape um, because I folded these in half to give it some dimension. I just put one on the center and I should have added hot glue to this, but that's okay. And I'll do another one. I added that there and one more. I did three of these, squished them, folded it in half and added another one. And then I'll add some glue to this just to make sure it sticks because you know how these are. And how is this going? Sideways just like that I believe. That's going to be right there. And then we'll add some glue to this. And we're gonna sandwich this in right here. Is that how I did this one? I guess so. <laughs> it's pretty much the same. It's just missing that little rhinestone. And look, you guys, that is it. Actually, it's gonna kill me. Let me get the little rhinestone. <laughs> Okay, I had to get it. I couldn't find it. I was like, where is it? Just so I can put it on right there. A little dab of hot glue. And <laughs> I'll be able to sleep now. Let me add that. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's sticking to my finger. 
now it is done exactly like the other one which makes it so easy <laughs> So I hope that you enjoyed this video. You guys really need to check out um, Dress It Up Button Shop on Instagram. They are so cute and I will leave a link um, to them in the description box of this video. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and for crafting with me. Um, it's always fun to see somebody's process. So I hope this inspired you and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.